Alright, here we go on uh, part two of the 1982 Tops vending box for, oops, one giant pack of cards as I like to refer to it. Now we've done pretty good so far and got stuff on the first part of the video sleeved. We won't go through all those, but we've done quite well so far if you watch that one. No Cal Ripken Jr. yet, but sure it's coming we haven't even barely broke a quarter of the box so a long way to go here a lot of good cards so far and let's continue it's a Kent Herbeck it's real nice seeing some cards I did not see in the first um, vending box so that's good a lot of these I'm seeing for the first time Pirate. That side. This whole section's been, well, Ken Forsh I've seen before. The rest of it's been pretty much uh, cards they did not see in the other the other box, which is cool. I didn't get a Willie Stargell yet either. I'd like a Willie Stargell. Just one of my favorite players. So a little buck inside too. Two cards, yep, two cards. Jackson. Can happen real easy. Morgan. Actually, Joe should go in the Templeton is a good player. Another Goose Gossage. Felt like two cards for a second. Rod Crew in action. Got Joe Necro. Necro Brothers. So I'm sure we'll find Phil in here as well at some point. Pascal Perez, the non-air card though, has the pitcher position. Still a nice card. Lou Whitaker. Sweet Lou. Yeah, you did sign it, Sweet Lou. Awesome.
George Brett. Nice looking card. I don't think I got his regular card in the first, uh, or did I? I don't think I did. That's really nice. Awesome. Ooh, Mike Schmidt and Eddie Murray. I did get that one already, but that's an awesome card. Two Hall of Famers on one card. Dennis Eckersley. Don't think I pulled that yet either. Nice card. Awesome. Pittsburgh Pirate Stars. I don't think I pulled that yet either. I just like the Pirates. Their uniforms were awesome. Their teams were good. 79 World Series winners and uh, lots of Hall of Famers. Well, yeah. Willie Stargell and they had great players like Omar Marino. Dave Parker's another Hall of Famer, so they had a couple. Great team. Tim Wallach, there's one I did not get yet. That's really nice, too. Very nice sunring. Nice printing. Little little dot, but uh, real nice card. Awesome. Didn't get that yet either. First one. Seattle Mariners, Future Stars. Looks like a little neck on the corner of that one. Ken Griffey Sr. Nice looking card. So you know. Raleigh Fingers in action. Raleigh Fingers regular, back to back. Kind of cool. In action and the regular card. Anna Tony Perez. Dave Winfield. Hit a sweet spot here. Very nice. And another uh, pitching stars from New York Mets. Tom Seaver. Here we go. Pete Rose and Steve Carlton. Nice looking card. Looks to be a little top to bend. That's pretty. Centering's off a little left to right. But. Mickey Rivers. Say and Tony Perez in action. That's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice little stack we just went through there. Dennis Eckersley, second one, awesome. Wow, this looks familiar, don't it? We just had. Um, this a few stacks ago, these cards. Another Tim Wallach. Very nice. Ken Griffey, Sr. Bill Gillickson and Warren Cromarty batting and pitching leaders. A little bit of edge damage on that one. Steve Stone, I haven't seen that card yet either. Mark Wagner, Kevin Saucier. Now we're coming into some first time cards again. Cool. Tony Scott. Yep, I haven't seen these guys yet. Awesome. Ken 
singleton. George Fosker, the non-signed. No, this is uh, that's the All-Star card. So that's it in action. It was the All-Star card that had that uh, signature here. Not the in action. Tom Seaver, Jack Morris. Didn't get that yet. That's awesome. Sleeved cards. How much time we got here? One more. Just a little over halfway through now. Can't complain. I would like to see the Cal Ripken get that out of the way, but we're getting some really good, um, really good cards that. Yeah, this is uh, stuff I haven't seen yet either. This is great. So between the two boxes, I got um, different collations, which are giving me uh, cards I didn't get in the first box. It's kind of like in this one too. They like duplicated. They like did a you know like overrun. So see, we've already got a Lupinella. We went through kind of this whole. And then you get into something new. So it's like they run a little bit of the one they ran previously in this box, and then they start running into the new cards. And I see we just went through these exact collations. Yep, just kind of that. It's basically a duplicate of what we just went through. It's the same cards. Good. Two of those anyway out of it. If we can see that with the Cal Ripken, that would be outstanding. George Brett. Eddie Murray, Mike Schmidt. So we are getting some good duplicates here. Interesting box. I think this is very exciting because if that happens with the Ripken or the Henderson or the Rose or of course we already got the Rose. We haven't got the Ryan yet either. Here we go. Uh, turn around here. Well, all right, let's see here. What's going on? They seem to have been the other way. Joe Morgan. So it'll probably be the last stack, and then we'll continue on with uh, part three here. I gotta tell you, this is uh, this is awesome. And I am keeping my eye on those other um, out for those other tough grade cards for the registry guys. I don't think we've ran into any of them yet. So I think those are John Urea, Bruce Benedict, John Montefusco. Um, I guess those are pretty tough. And the Reggie Jackson, which I did get. The other box, we haven't got Reggie in this box yet, I don't believe. Tigers Future Stars, didn't get that yet either. card that looks nice oh a little bit of a corner hit seems like that might have been one of the <laughs> figures looks to be really good other than the corner Paul Molitor first Molitor I've gotten too that looks really nice Tiger
There's a John Montefusco. Yep, if we look at it, it does have some printing, like some black marks towards the top. A little bit of a corner issue, fortunately. So there's one of the tough ones. We're still going to sleeve it. Looks to not be too bad, but um, I don't know how high grade or high a grade it would be. If submitted, I'm sure that uh, that could be part of the issue. So, anyway, we'll continue on with part three. Let me get these taken care of and see you soon.